Hello guys and welcome back to this video. Uh, this is part 3 of Baking the Betting Site. Uh, I'm sorry that I've been offline for such a long time, but now I'm finally back and I have some time to create the, the rest of the series. In this part I think we're going to create some login and create account functionality, maybe just some a simple form where you can sign up and log in. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to components. We're going to create a new folder, let's call it modal. Inside of this folder, we're going to create, make a login.js and we're going to create a create.js. Uh, what I want you guys to do, I don't know if I did this already in previous videos, I want you to go to extensions and I want you to install this extension ES7 plus React Redux snippets this is really smart and really helpful during programming and then yeah it just make makes everything really really easy so i go back to login i type r f c uh, like this r f c and i choose this react functional component perfect and I do the same thing in create react functional component perfect um, what we want now is we go to our index. Uh, we want to use a state to choose whether one of these modules are going to be opened. We also want to install something called mantine. So we go to mantine.dev, we click get started, we click next. Then we just follow along here, npm, we copy this, open a new terminal. I have to go to my and then I just install this mantine com, mantine hooks, mantine next and all this. It can take some time but it is fine. While we're downloading this we can go ahead and make our state so that our program know that, know that we clicked on these models. So we can go here and say const, open it, set open it, use date, and then false. Remember to import this when you're you're doing this, so that we get the we get the imported version of this. Perfect. Nice. Okay, maybe it's not even here that we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it in the... Where did we put the... Yeah, we're going to do it here in the nav. So in the nav we say set opened, const opened, use date. And we can delete it again in here. Now we also have to import it, so control space and click here. Then we can go back to main time, we can find the modal. Um, we can use this one, this is really nice. Perfect. So we go. <laughs> Let me see the page. We want to click on this and then open this modal where we can log in. So we go. I think we want to make these buttons instead. So if you type button with a big B. You get this just to import it from main time. So make sure to import button from main time. And then also this is going to be button. Also here we want button and button. Oh, button here of course. And then we can remove this. Let's see how this looks. Perfect. Now we have two buttons instead of um, of the links that we have. From before, we go to the button of the page. 
This music is pretty cringe. Let me just change it real quick. We want to save for this login. Just close this. We want inside of this button, we want to do unclick and then say set opened. Because we are opening our, our modal. Um, we also want to put in a modal, we can just do it down here. Let's say modal from maintain core, yes. Inside of this mode we want the content, but let's just wait with that for now. Um, we want to say opened equals opened. We want to say unclose. And then we make this function here, set opened. I don't know, I can't type right now. On close. Like this. To make it false. We want to create a title for this model. We can just say login. Then we want to make the size and let's just make it like Excel, I think that's fine. All this is only possible because we installed the main sign dependency, so make sure to do that before going into this. Uh, I think now we should be able to, yes, as you can see here, we are now able to click this login and the mode will pop up. So inside of this modal, we want like a simple form. I think also we actually want to create one more modal opened create set opened create because the create mode is, is different from this one you can just do it like this let's say create here and then also inside of this create we want to say unclick set open create so now we should be able to open both and you can see there are two different modals, create and login. So, so far so good. Uh, we created this folder with the modals inside of this, we have this. Uh, what we want in here is a form, so we just type like form. I think we're actually going to be using something for main sign again. So go to main sign and type form. Um, use form. Let's just see how they do it. So really, first of all, we have to declare a um, a const with the form with the values we need. So we say const form use form. That have to be imported from Mantine. Put this here. Actually, I think we need to install this. So we say npm i add Mantine slash form. Let's see if it installs it. It's fine. Keep in mind that I can uh, I have two terminals open, so this one is running the server and this one in is installing the dependencies. So I go to this and I say use form. I'm sorry for looking at this, but I it's been a long time since I've used it also. Um, but it's fairly easy once you get it. Then you say initial values. And then do like this and then say, for example, email and then just make it nothing. And then password and make it nothing also. You guys can do whatever you want in here, but this is just for educational purposes. So I'm making it fairly easy. <coughs> we go back into our form and now we want to do something with this text input. So we say text input from Mantine Core, put it in here. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this. And you guys can just paste it or whatever you want. We have to label email and we have to get input props from the email. So our initial value is nothing here. Um, we can do this 
and this that's fine so let's see how this looks oh i have to i go back to my nav i go in here where what this model is and i say login because we want to import this model from or this login functionality from our component login we just do the same with them create right now uh, what I did was just importing it and keep in mind that I also have imported them up here so that it's actually a part of the project so we go to login and see right now we have this login so that looks good I go back to this one I think we should put a button here also something like submit I have to import, I go here, I press control space and I import this. You can see up here I have my button. It's right now it's really ugly though. I think we can do it like this. Uh, see if it Okay, we can't do that, but we can do this. We create a div around our button. And we say class name mx auto and then maybe margin top of two and then margin button of two let's see how that looks text center also then let's make it black or green uh, let's just make it black and then text white so now we have this big button i don't want it to be everything Just have to be inside of the button so we go here and say class name background black perfect so this is actually fairly nice i'd say um oh another thing from main time that we can do is we go back to main time and we go click get started next again and then there's something main time have some global styles that we can use I think this is really small for you guys, so let me print it. We want to use this in our project. Did I click next? Yes. So we go to our app.js. We go here where we return our component. We copy this, all this. <coughs> then we just paste it in here and then make sure to beautify so we have. We have to put this here. I don't know why it doesn't do it itself, but it's fine. So what you want is something like this, and then we can try to close the, the development server and start it again, and let's see how it goes. Just let it load. Oh, we also have to import it. Man time provider here. Then let me close it once more. Let's see. So perfect. Yes. <coughs> so now we have imported everything we want to do um, I think in the next uh, video I'm going to be using something like um, Yeah, I'll finish the rest of this form and maybe create the rest of the site and then af afterwards we create functionality I hope this was easy to follow along because it's fairly easy steps and it will only get a bit harder when we want to do the actual um, login functionality and the database stuff So see you next video